There is an ongoing, never-ending force that has been constantly moving forward tick by tick. Some have sought to reverse it, but could not. Others have tried to slow it. They too have failed. Those who have tried to speed it up have found their efforts to be an exercise in futility. It cannot be started or stopped. It is priceless, but cannot be purchased. It is said to fly, yet has no wings. It is fleeting, but always present. The force of which I speak is time. And while time itself is infinite, for human beings it is finite, beginning with the first breath and ending with the last. Each person is gifted with a, with a specific amount. For some it is mere minutes. For others it lasts for over a century. But for everyone, time is limited. Few can be sure when their time will run out, but for all, it will. And yet most live as if oblivious to this fact, taking each year, each day, each moment for granted, acting as if they are the exception to the rule. But eventually they too will learn that when it comes to time, there are no exceptions. As surely as we are born, one day we will die. For the book of Ecclesiastes teaches no one has power over the wind to restrain the wind, or power over the day of death. The tick of every second, the striking over every hour, brings us one step closer to our earthly end. Therefore, while we have no control over time or when our end will come, we must choose whether or not we will make the most out of the moments we've been given or if we will allow them to slip away like sands through an hourglass. On the Wednesday nights leading up to Holy Week, you will be introduced to four individuals who come face to face with the reality that they are dust, and to dust they shall return. Will they see the error of their ways? Will their eyes be open to the precious gift that time really is? Will they choose to walk dusty 